Welcome to another episode of Joel Can Cook. Today, we're going to be talking about ribs. Pork ribs. Delicious, tasty pork ribs. If you're not an official pit master, neither am I. But I know how to make some ribs. The most important thing is how we're going to season them. Now for me, dry rub is the only way to go. So I want something that will fall off the bone but still have a little bit of bite to it, you know? Now pig ribs work their whole life trying to hold on to those bones so there's a lot of connective tissue in there. There's a lot of tendons and stuff like that. It's not tasty stuff. That's the gross stuff. We got to cook all that out so we got to go low and slow. I like to cook at about 275 for about three to four hours. However, if you're in a pinch like I am today and I started dinner late because I was making videos. Um, you can cook it a little bit higher, a little bit shorter. Just every time you do that, it gets not quite as tender afterwards. So keep that in mind. So I'm going to cook them today about 300 for about two, two and a half hours. And we should be good to go. Now making your own dry rub to put on ribs is not that difficult. All you need is chili powder, ground cumin, smoked paprika, coriander, celery salt, ground mustard. I don't have time for that. I've got kids. They need to eat. So we're going to do some shortcuts. The secret to ribs is getting flavors on them that you like to eat. Period. I went through the cupboard to see what I have here, and I got some options. First one is this. It's called rub some butt. That's not appropriate. I'm not going to feed that to my kids. This is some kind of an Asian fusion mix. Eh, okay, maybe. Did you know that Frank's Red Hot comes in a powder? <laughs> oh, yeah. But my kids don't like spicy, some of them. So eh, we're going to skip that today, too. Here we go. Hickory barbecue. It has basically all the same spices that I held up, only they're pre-mixed for you. Very handy. I'm going to use this and I might put a little rub some butt on it too just because it's basically a mustard vinegar mix. You really can't go wrong with that. First thing we got to do is take a look at these ribs. They're nice and lean. The backside has this film across it. This was on the inside. It protected the ribs from the lungs. You don't need to know that. That's too much information. But it comes off pretty easy, and if you take that off, the seasoning can soak into the meat a lot better. And it's a little bit bitter if you leave it on there to try and eat it. It's hard to pull the ribs apart. Just take it off. It's not that bad. You got to get a knife underneath it, and then you start peeling it. Kind of like, uh, kind of like you're peeling the sticker off of a pickle bottle, if you know what that feels like. Next, slather it down with a dry rub. Put plenty of it on. Coat it on. Put a lot on there. Once that's done, put it in the fridge for a couple of hours. Let it sit. What that does is all the salt in the mixture is gonna suck moisture out of the pork, which sounds bad. But then, after an hour or two, that pork is gonna start sucking all that moisture back in again. And that's where the magic happens because it's gonna suck all of the flavor along with the moisture and the salt right back into the meat. And when you cook it, it's all inside. If there's one thing I hate, it's a messy kitchen. I clean up as I go and I use disposables whenever I can. You can judge me all you want on this. It's a free country, whatever country you're in. If you're not in a free country, you cannot judge me on this. Fair enough. Once it's set in the fridge, throw it in the oven, put the bone side down so the bones kind of protect the meat from the juices, and let it bake. Right at the end, you can take it out of the oven, slather it down with barbecue sauce, and then put it back in, crank the oven up a little bit to like 350, 375. What that's going to do is it's going to bake that barbecue sauce right into it and give it a nice little glaze on the outside. I just want to eat it, so I'm probably going to put that glaze on on my plate. Now I'm going to be dipping and dunking as I eat. That's it. That's how you turn this into this. Enjoy. <laughs>